Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Now, as you know, I write the Ask Dave column for QST, and uh, there was a question from Alex Croce, he is WB3ATF, that I answered in the July 2024 issue, and it had to do with his Alpha Delta DXEE antenna. He was having some problems with the insulators being arced over and so on. So I answered that question in there. Now, he sent me uh, another question with a slightly different twist. He says he's really not happy with the Alpha Delta antenna, and I think part of the problem is that he can't really stretch it tight. And so you've got kind of a, a drooping thing like this with the center up here and coming down fairly steep. And that can be difficult for an antenna to get around. So he's wondering if there's an antenna that he could attach to his chimney that would work better. Now, he lives on a small lot in a crowded neighborhood, and really the only good mounting point he has is his chimney. That's where I put my very first antenna was on the chimney. And he was wondering if the AV640 would work there, and it would. It would work very well. The AV640 is made by Highgain, which means MFJ. And it would work very well there because it does not need radials. Now, it has a couple counterpoise thingies on the bottom, but the antenna would mount to the chimney fairly well, and he would probably get a nice signal out on 40 through 10. By the way, there is an AV680, which covers a small portion of the 80 meter band and costs a whole lot more money. So I don't usually recommend that. Now, the problem with the AV640 antenna is this. It's not made anymore. The company that made it, MFJ, which owns Highgain, is going out of business. They're basically selling off existing inventory, and then they're going to wrap everything up. And that's unfortunate for ham radio because MFJ makes so many little gadgets that only they make and are hard to find elsewhere. Now, with time, other people will pick these up, but it is going to take some time. Uh, MFJ is all out of their more popular antennas, and that antenna was one of their more popular antennas. So I called DX Engineering about what options he might suggest for Dan in this situation. He talked about a Comet 250, it's 23 feet tall. It doesn't have radials. He says that it's gotten mixed reviews. People either love them or hate them. Okay, there is also a Moonraker, but it's just an aluminum pole that you can stick there, which means it has to be fed by an external antenna tuner that's right at the base of the antenna. Now, LDG makes such an antenna tuner. It sits right at the base of the antenna, so there's no transmission line to lose power in. Now, we tried that in a video recently where we took my MFJ993B antenna tuner and made it a remote tuner by putting a battery on it and taking it out in the backyard and then attaching this little piece of wire to a pole and letting the thing tune itself. We ran into some problems, but we realized that what I was doing, I had the tuner and the radio still on. So I had two tuners fighting each other. As soon as I turned the radio tuner completely off, bypassed it, then the antenna tuner outside worked perfectly. It just, whatever frequency you were on from 40 on up, bam, right there, right there. So that's a good thing to look at. Now the antenna tuner you would be looking at would be the LDG uh, remote tuner, that plus the piece of aluminum. You can get the aluminum at Home Depot. Make a very nice vertical antenna, but you are paying for that tuner. Now, think about it this way. The, the AV640 was in the six $700 range. For that same price, you can get the remote tuner and the aluminum pole. Okay, and there are aluminum poles available from many, many different sources. And if you can insulate it from the chimney, that would be best. If you can't, you can feed it up a ways with a gamma match. Okay, so there are lots of things that you can do there. Diamond 
has an antenna that's similar to the Comet. You could look at that. And the Alpha antennas line has a couple things that may be interested. Now, one of the other options is to put a mag loop up there. Now, the problem with the mag loop is a mag loop wants to be about 10 feet off the ground, whereas your chimney is definitely a lot more. You have a two story house, the chimney goes up above it all, so it's up 35 feet or something along those lines. I would recommend that you take a look at the Comet, that you take a look at the Diamond, and that you take a look at this LDG tuner, which is not very much. Let's just look it up right here. This is the LDG Electronics. Now this is $300, okay? $300 plus $100 worth of aluminum from Home Depot or uh, whatever you might like. Then you send this down to the radio, actually into the back of this little box, and then it goes to the radio, and then this thing injects 12 volts onto the cable so that this antenna can run on this 12 volts. Now this goes to the antenna. Now this is a 50 ohm. If you put a four to one ballon on that right there, you can feed the pole uh, just right out of that. Okay, so this would be a good setup for you for not as much money. That's the AV640. Let's see, it's not available anymore okay so i don't know what the price would be but i think it's in the seven to eight hundred dollar range it's like going to a gas station and saying sure i'll pay you five dollars a gallon and the guy at the gas station says i'd love to take it but i don't have any gasoline <laughs> it's interesting i was driving from southern california back home here to colorado one time and wasn't sure i was going to make it all the way to baker in the Prius. I mean, it was down close to empty. So there was at the intersection about five miles south of Baker, there was a gas station sitting there that sold its gasoline for $5 a gallon. Well, I got some. And I said, thank you very much for being here. I'll pay your five. I'm just grateful you're here. And then, of course, I went on and got some cheaper gas elsewhere. Those people were there for a particular business case, which was for people running on empty who needed a little boost to get up to Baker. Okay, but well, I don't know how far it was down the road, it was a ways. I would look at either the Comet or the Diamond, see what works best for you, see what you can do. You can talk to other people who have them. I know that the uh, Comet is a popular antenna. So there you have it. And until we next meet, and you get an extra story out of me, 73.